Hi, Gilda's Club families. This is Carissa Hodgson, Program Manager, coming to you with our Kid Support Facilitator, Ruth Price. And we are excited to read The Invisible String to you and walk you through um, a, a heart-making exercise that will remind us that we're all connected. Ruth, do you want to? Yes. So we're gonna look at this book, The Invisible String. And as uh, Miss Carissa said, it's about how we're together when we're apart. And certainly um, we've had to deal with being apart from our Gildas family and our friends at school and our loved ones that we're not living with. So we wanted to make sure that we remember how we're always connected. And this is a story about that. It's called The Invisible String. And it's for all the children of the world and the magic of their strings. Liza and Jeremy, the twins, were asleep one calm and quiet night. Suddenly it began to rain very hard. Thunder rumbled until it got so loud that it woke them up. Mommy, mommy, they cried as they ran to her. Don't worry, you two. It's just the storm making all that noise. Go back to bed. We want to stay close to you, said Jeremy. We're scared. Mom said, you know we're always together, no matter what. But how can we be together when you're out here and we're in bed, said Liza. Mom held something right in front of them and said, this is how. Rubbing their sleepy eyes, the twins came closer to see what mom was holding. I was about your age when my mommy first told me about the invisible string. I don't see a string, said Jeremy. You don't need to see the invisible string because people who love each other are always connected by a very special string made of love. But if you can't see it, how do you know it's there? Asked Liza. Even though you can't see it with your eyes, you can feel it with your heart and know that you are always connected to everyone you love. When you're at school and you miss me, your love travels all the way along the string until I feel it tug on my heart. And when you tug it right back, we feel it in our hearts, said Jeremy. Does Jasper the cat have an invisible string? Liza asked. She sure does, said mom. And best friends like me and Lucy, asked Liza. Best friends too. How far can the string reach? Anywhere and everywhere, said mom. Would it reach me even if I were in a submarine captain deep in the ocean, asked Jeremy? Yes, mom said, even there. Or a mountain climber, even there. A ballerina in France? Even there. How about a jungle explorer? Even there. How about an astronaut out in space? Yep, even there. Then Jeremy quietly asked, can my string reach all the way to Uncle Brian in heaven? Yes, even there. Does the string go away when you're mad at us? Never, said mom. Love is stronger than anger, and as long as love is in your heart, the string will always be there. Even when you get older and can't agree about things like what movie to see, or who gets to ride in the front seat, or what time to go to bed, oh, that's right, you two should be in bed. And with that, they all laughed as mom chased the twins back to their beds. Within a few minutes, they were asleep, even though the storm was still making the same loud noises outside. As they slept, they started dreaming of all of the invisible strings they have and all the strings their friends have and their friends have and their friends have until everyone in the world was connected by invisible strings. And from deep inside, they now could clearly see no one is ever alone. 
And wow. You know, a couple of, that was wonderful, Ruth. And I'm going to let you introduce our activity. And before you do that, while I'm showing the slides, I'm going to show a couple of examples of what you're going to talk about. Here's a heart created by Lennon. Here's a heart I created for all of my <laughs> friends at Gilda's Club. And here's a heart I made for my mom. So yeah. Ruth, what do you think? What's, what should we do? Yeah. Well, so, so you can use, you can use like construction paper, you can draw on a piece of paper and you can do it in lots of different ways, but we want you to try and think of um, maybe one or two people, or it could be more, or it could be a pet, um, but that you're connected with and that is in your heart. So whoever is in your heart. And so finding um, something to make hearts out of and then you can either, if you have it on a piece of paper, you could draw a string between it. If you have any kind of thing to use for string, you could take it and you could actually punch a hole in the heart and then you could connect it to the next heart and you could keep that together to show you how much that you're connected to those people that you love or those animals. Um, and we want you to just feel free to use whatever you can to create your invisible strings and then we're hoping that you're going to be able to share them with us and maybe send a picture to miss carissa so that we can all see how we're all connected and and that we continue to be connected even when we're in this quarantine i love that idea and if anyone is interested you can um, email me or have your parent email me um, either a picture of you and your heart or just the heart itself um, and I'm going to string together all of those pictures and then take another picture and send it back to you. And I think we're going to post it on social media. Um, so if, if, if your name is on it or your face is on it, just know that that will be shared. Um, but if you don't want to send a picture or want it to be without your name or face, that's okay too. Um, and like Ms. Ruth said, we just want to reinforce how we're all still connected and we um, are all still belonging to our community even while we are far apart. Mm -hmm. And we miss all of you. We do. We really miss you. So until next time, um, stay tuned to our calendar for more activities like this, and we will hope to see you guys soon. Bye-bye.